Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss probability. Now you had done probability in grade 9 but when you had done probability in grade 9 it was you'd physically take a coin, you'll throw a coin and then you'd come to an answer. Now when you're busy playing that is what they called relative frequency. So it was based on what you're doing, you threw the coin, you got it four times heads and you threw it maybe six times, so it's four over six. That is basically trial. You're physically doing the activity. But in grade 10, we now work towards a theoretical probability, which means we start working out a formula. Now probability covers a few things and you need to be okay with the language before we actually start probability. Now let us start with basic language that you should know. The first one is called sample space. Now sample space means all the possible outcomes. Now when I say all possible outcomes, let's say you're going to throw a dice. So the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now there's two ways you could write this down. You could write it in a bracket form. Or you could write it in a Venn diagram. Okay, so when we have it in this form, we are calling it a sample space. And when we have it in a circle, we are calling it a Venn diagram. But a Venn diagram basically also has all the sample space in a drawing. Now, that is what is inside. But what if I wanted the number? What the number means is how many are there inside? So the number is 6 because if you count, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that would be ns is 6. So I'm referring to the number. What is an event? Right? An event is something that is going to come out of your sample space. So I could have an event, let's call it A, which is all the even numbers. So if I'm talking of event A with all the even numbers on the dice, then what do I have? I have A is equal to 2, 4, and 6. Now the N of A, so in other words, the number of them is 3. There are 3 choices. Let's say my event, let's label it B, is all the numbers less than 5. So that would be 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the n, the number of b is equal to 4 because there are 4 choices 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right now we need to know the numbers because that becomes very important. Okay? When we have the events written like this, you could also write the event in a Venn diagram. So I have 2, 4, 6 saying what's my event, but the sample space also had 1, 3 and 5. I'm not showing you how to draw a Venn diagram now. I'm just trying to show you that events can be drawn in two different ways. Now let us go to probability. What is probability? Probability is the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of outcomes. Now look at what I was emphasizing on. When we were busy, I kept on saying that the n of a is 3, the n of s is 6. How many is happening? The n of b is 4. So when they are talking about the number of favorable outcomes, let's say I wanted event A 
then it means the number of A over the number of the total sample space. So the probability of A, so we're talking of event A is 3 over 6. Look, this was going to happen 3 times. The possibility that it's going to happen is 3. The total amount was 6. Let's do N of B. So probability of B is equal to the N of B over the N of S. How many times can the event B take place? How many times can it happen? It can happen 4 times. Out of how many possible times? 6. So that is the probability of B. Can you see how come the N is so important? Thank you for watching.